Welcome to another Flypaper Academy installment. In this video, we're gonna go over a brand new tool within Sherlock that we call Isolate. Have you ever wanted a sectioning tool within Navisworks that was fun to use? Well, now you have one. With our isolation tool, you are able to section yourself around any number of items or clashes within the model. So, to demonstrate, I will right click on this uh, wall and I can now choose isolate items. You can see that it has section box me around this wall and I can very quickly change the isolation box uh, to include whatever I want it to include. Uh, in this example, you can quickly see all of the wall penetrations that are happening through this wall. And when you're done, you can just hit isolate again and you're back to your normal view. You also can access the isolate feature by clicking on isolate within item tools. So right by orient, you now have this isolate button. And when you're isolating, you do have the option to uh, toggle on and off the handles so that you don't see them. And you can, if you don't wanna accidentally drag the planes around as you're reviewing this area, you can also, uh, if you're zoomed far away from the isolation box, you can click zoom box and it will bring you exactly back to where you started here so that you can see what's going on. The other thing that you can do is you can hit save viewpoint. It allows you to save off a viewpoint. So if you wanted to save this as some note, um, I'm just gonna put a title called title and I'm gonna hit save viewpoint. So now, uh, I have a saved viewpoint in Navisworks that has that uh, section box uh, already saved right into it. All right, so you can use that isolation tool when you are selected on uh, one item or two or however many you want. So if I select a bunch of different things and I hit isolate, um, you can see that it has isolated me uh, down to a section box that includes all of the items that I had selected. And then the last way you can activate this isolate tool is right from the item tools built-in menu within Navisworks. So if you have something selected, you'll see the item tools menu and you can see that you can orient or you can isolate around that item. So if I isolate around that section of ductwork, you can see that I've isolated there and I can also use Orient when I'm in this isolation view. So if I wanted to point out that location of this, uh, this selected item, I can hit Orient. It will turn on everything. So it'll uh, remove that section box. And then when you hit Exit Orient, it brings you right back to the isolated section box. So Orient and Isolate both work very well together. The other thing that you can do with isolate is you can actually have it uh, isolate around clashes. So let's take a look at some clashes. So if I go into the clash detective and um, I've got a group selected here, you can now see that within the clash tools portion of, uh, of Sherlock, you now have an isolate button. So I've got or group 58 selected and I can hit isolate. So what that'll do is it'll isolate me around that clash um, and I can, you know, expand my view. And here, let me turn off dim other here so that we can see everything. Um, but now you can see, and it's kind of, you know, it's isolated you around that clash, but rather than, you know, not showing all of the items that are around that area, um, it hasn't hidden off any of the other model items. So you can kind of change your section box however you want it, and you can save a viewpoint of that clash um, once you've gotten that section box the right way that you want it. So when I am in the clash detective as well, if I uh, hit the isolate button, and then I can actually just, you know, tab through my, or, uh, you know, arrow through my different clashes, and it will change up the section box. And let me make this a little smaller so you can see it. It'll change up the section box to just be isolated around whatever clash group or singular clash that you have selected. 
So in that way, it's actually kind of like a, a different way of doing, you know, dim other or hide other. So now you have, you know, isolate uh, around those clashes. So uh, rather than it being like hide other where, you know, you don't see all of the other uh, systems that might be in that area of that clash, when you turn on the isolation tool for clashes, you now are able to see all of the other systems in that area. So you can really, you know, understand um, what else is going on in that area of that clash so that you can get a better view of a way to fix it. And from those views, when you're isolating around clashes, you are still able to do the same things. You can toggle on and off the handles, you can change or you can zoom to the, the clash or to the zoom box and you can save a viewpoint right from there. And that's it. That's a quick rundown of our brand new isolate feature within Sherlock. Thanks and have a great day.